Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a never before seen motorhome on the show. This is a class A front engine diesel that has a garage. Yes, this is a toy hauler motorhome. This is the 2022 Newmore Canyon Star model 3709. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Canyon Star and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's World Sewing Channel giving you a true and unbiased review about every RV that we do. And again, today I am super excited that we are taking a look at this awesome Canyon Star front engine diesel. We finally found one, folks. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hi, everybody. How's it going? It's going we are here at RV1 in Tampa. Yes. If you guys have any questions or you want to inquire about any RVs, uh, the phone number is 813-659-0008. Yes, we appreciate them for letting us be here today. Yes. And Andrea, I must say, you you're, you dress so nice, you match the motorhome <laughs> twice. Hey, this is the first time we get to do the Canyon Star. I'm yes. really excited. I think you guys are really going to love it. Yes. Andrea, let's begin. Model is 3709. The actual tip tip length is 37 feet 10 inches. This is the Newmark Canyon Star. It is their front engine diesel. I purposely have the diesel engine on because a lot of people are worried like, oh, if it's a front engine diesel, it's gonna be super loud. It's not that loud, guys. It's, you know, just a normal motorhome. It is a 360 horsepower Cummins engine with 800 pound feet of torque. And this is made on a Freightliner MC chassis. It's kind of like a custom chassis because it's a toy hauler, okay? I love the headlight design, Andrea. I like the red. Right, the colors look good, but that headlight design looks very similar to the Tiffin Allegro open road. So I like that sleek look. It's mean and aggressive. Your engine's up here, and then you're sitting up there with a nice big windshield. Coming on down the side, we do have a um, camera, so left side, right side, and reverse. Mirrors right here, chrome mirrors. And then Andre, do you know what this is? Um, what is it? Flag pole. Oh. Hell yeah, you put your flag up there. Interesting, whatever, that's what, awesome. Whatever flag you want to have. And then look at these tires, Dre, and they're the Michelin's. 275-80R22.5 with those shiny AccuRide rims. Nice. And then coming on down the side here. Look at that. The full, paint full body paint looks beautiful. Frameless windows. And then look at the awning. It's like a diesel pusher awning. You see you see what's going oh, on yeah. there? yeah. That's nice. Right here, Andre, you do have nice big propane tanks. And here, bing, those are all the specs about the motorhomes. Uh, Jen's going to insert all the specs about this motorhome. Thank you so much, Jen. Thanks, Jen. Up. Oh. Okay, right there, we got the swing up. Swing. Okay. Storage. There's your inverter. Okay, right here, mid-entry door, nice feature. I see a speaker right there, outside speakers. This is unique? Yes. Okay, again guys, it's gonna be a, a different type of motorhome, just, and it's not gonna be as conventional, because they gotta fit a lot of stuff where stuff normally wouldn't go. Okay, so Here's this some would good storage. be storage. And that's because of the garage area. Right. Nice, flush slide out right here. Oh, that's that's nice. Yep. And then right there, more storage. Okay. And then Andre, check this out. This is super unique. There's a second door, just like a fifth wheel, just like a travel trailer. Second door. This door does lead into the garage. I love that. It's one of the best features about this. Coming on down the side here. Very nice storage. And then here, just a little bit more. All right. And then coming uh, right here, Andrea, these are air vents. Uh, you need these to have the garage so you can put all your toys in. And then coming around the back, Andrea, this is the moneymaker right here. This is the ramp door. And what we're going to do, Andrea. Yes. Riley from RV1 of Tampa was kind enough to demonstrate 
how simple it is to put up and down and how easy it is to put it up and down. Let's go over to Riley. So to show us how the back of the garage closes and reopens is Riley from RV1 of Tampa. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, are you excited to show us this demonstration? Yeah, anything you, <laughs> anything you want to say to America? Um, come buy a new mar from us. <laughs> Perfect, do you have an extension? Uh, five, uh, $15.99. Perfect, so if you guys need help with a new mar, make sure you ask for Riley. Riley, demonstrate this for us. Absolutely. I have no idea how this works. Can you just fold up this little flap right here? Okay. Side. Look at that. Strut, so it doesn't fall on you or oh. is it hard for you to lift up? You can do it by yourself. Perfect. It's a little workout. So once you push it all the way in, if I can do it, you just push this little lever up and it Boom. latches into place. Locked and loaded. Yes. Now how do we get it back open again? So there's this little lever here underneath and there's a little trigger up top. You okay. actually want to make sure you pull that trigger and push this all the way down. This is the hardest part because it's so heavy, but it's on those gas struts. Well, I think it's better that it's harder to pull it down rather than it just being easy to fall down on you. Right, absolutely. So you just keep pushing, and then you put your little flap down and get all your toys in. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for demonstrating this absolutely. for us. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Riley. Thank you, Riley, for demonstrating that for us. Again, uh, make sure if you guys are interested in this, uh, make sure you give her a call. We appreciate we appreciate everyone here, but especially when people volunteer to help. Um, and then not only that, there was a hitch underneath here. It is a six thousand pound hitch. Um, again, it, but before you tow anything with this motorhome, you got to be very careful that you don't overload this. Okay. Right over here, Andre, is your fifty amp power cord. Okay. Very nice. There was three AC units on this. Wow. Right over here. Oh, a little fuel station. That's so for you can your, toys. Fill up your toys. Yep. A little bit more storage. That's pretty good. Probably going to be placed first. Thank you, Slinky. It sure is. Wow. Very nice. Fuel fill up? Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Nice wet bay, outdoor shower, city water connection, um, black tank flush. Do you see potable water? Uh, I don't see it. I don't see it. And that there's your wasting tanks. Very and, nice. And then we got some more storage here. And some more storage here. Yep. Looks like you have an instant tankless Truma hot water heater. Yes, ma'am. Instant hot tankless. And a Onan. Oh, 8,000. Is that a quiet generator? It is. It's the QD. 8,000 diesel generator. And oh, here's your batteries. Look at the battery bank. Yes. It's on a tray. I Very think. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And your blinker fluid. Yes, blinker fluid. <laughs> TDF, right? Well, Andrea, the outside of the Canyon Star looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right, hold on, everybody. This is exciting. And Matt, don't Andre, forget the I must cargo. Say, this is probably one of the most exciting it reviews. It is really exciting. I I think people are going to be really excited. Okay. Cargo carrying capacity, Matt. 3,799 Wow. Pounds. That's insane. Look at this, everybody. Wow. Okay. So I'm going to walk up front here. Plenty of room with the yes. slide in. Nice cab. Okay, guys. Okay. Look at this. I love it. Very nice. All right. So I'm walking through here and I got plenty of room. You go through here and you can still get to the bathroom. Let's see if we can open the fridge. Got it locked. Yep. You can still open it. Not all the way. And then uh, the master bed here you can still use with the slide in, which is great. Yes. Wow. You know, I like this. A lot of times when you have um, toy hauler class A motorhomes, you don't get like sometimes an extra bedroom. Right. You know? And Andrea, while the slide out's coming out, we want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor, campgroundviews.com. Now you guys have seen campgroundviews.com on the program for a while. And what they do, Andrea, is 360 digital tours 
of state and national parks. Um, we have a we have an interview with the owner, Mark, the CEO, right up there, and we do have special promotion pricing going on. When you use our link below and you use the promo code MAT50, and the best part about it is you can tour the campsites, find the perfect campsite with the best view, and actually book that campsite all through the website. It really is a one-stop shop and Andrea. We wouldn't be able to be independent without them, so we appreciate campgroundviews.com. Absolutely. Thank you, campgroundviews.com. Find that light switch, Andrea? Uh, I'm actually looking for the one right there. I think it's by the door. I hit that one. Oh, yeah, it's not on. There you go. Oh, there we go. It's beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Andrea, let's get started up front here. I really like the light sconces. Okay. Okay. Oh, Telescope and steering wheel. Yes, hang on. Let me move this. This is a power seat. Okay, good. Um, Pretty colors. In yeah, here. Riley drove this up here, so it was all up on the steering wheel <laughs> a little bit. But uh, look, right here we have our auto leveling, your 2500 Allison transmission right here, uh, cup holders there, all your light switches. That's a wireless charger. Okay. Older style Freightliner dash, not the newer digital one. Again, they don't make many of these. You do have your navigation, your videos and everything. And Andrea, you're sitting on top of the engine. That's it's big, not loud. Well, the engine's not on. Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a big turn off for a lot of people, but I purposely turned it off and I purposely want to turn it on. Okay. It's actually not bad. You know, so many people complain about the sound. It really isn't. It isn't no louder than not, a gas. Yeah, it's really not that bad. Now check it out. I know if we did like a decibel reader, it might be louder, but you know, you put on the AC unit, it's just as loud. The right. AC unit's even louder. It really feels like, or sounds like we're in a class A gas. Yeah. Oh it's my totally goodness. fine. And Andrea, oh, it's sit so in my co-captain seat. It's just so pretty. I really like the colors in here. Okay. so. Um, these seats do swivel and it has a footrest right here, which is nice. Very nice. Um, I like that, you know, you have, oh, a wireless phone charger. Nice. That's fantastic. Um, really nice. It looks like they have shades that come down. Okay. They have, uh, cabinets up here. Okay. Let's swing open. Swing. Nice TV. Yeah, very nice TV. Can you get that one as well? Yes. Swing. Man, big cabinetry right there. I love this big window. Absolutely. And All then right, over Matt. here in the living room area, we do have one notice the nice air conditioning unit. Oh, wow. I didn't so even notice that. It's the whisper quiet. So one, it looks better. And two, it's not as loud. Look at this big cabinetry yeah. right here, Andrea. Cute balances. Yes, yes. And then right here, we have our daytime blinds and privacy nice. blinds. Nice. I really like these light sconces, you guys. Look at them. They're really cute. Oh, those are nice. And you said you do like the balances? Oh yeah, they're cute. Good. I like this. It's not so much a farmhouse, but it's more of a distressed look. It reminds me of like a, I don't know, maybe like a Parisian look. Can you spell that? Parisian? Yeah. P-A-R-I-S-I-A-N. Works for me. <laughs> if right. I can't spell it, I don't say it. Three seater. Yes. Sofa. Nice material. We got a jackknife sofa. Yep, it just jackknifes down but that's because you have that garage back there. You yeah, know? yeah, for sure. Not, well, no, it's because it's not as deep. You Ooh, know, you don't want to have a tripod. That's a cute dinette. Yes, again, just like the um, the other Numar that we did, this isn't a four-seater dinette. This is an oversized two-seater dinette, which I'm a huge fan it of. It looks really comfortable. It is, it is. This does drop down to make a bed. We do have solid surface countertops and your TV's right here. And then, a lot of people are going to be looking at this, Andrea, and saying, oh, the TV's over the dinette. I don't want that. You're lucky you have a sofa and a dinette right. because Especially this a is toy. a toy hauler exactly. motor home, you know? Sometimes you don't get that. But right. And you know, you got to remember, there's a 10-foot garage in right. the back. Right. And look, you got a nice sound bar up there. Yep. Look at this. They gave you pretty cabinets right there. The frosted look. You have a window. All right. Very, very nice. Well, Andre, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. MSRP, 
on this motorhome here is $301,520. Andrea. MSRP. MSRP, what's that mean? That means that nobody pays MSRP. Yeah, you're not gonna be paying that, especially now. Do you know why? Because we have a network of dealerships nationwide who is willing and able to work with the Matt's RV Reviews customer, and quite frankly, the Matt's RV Reviews family. So it doesn't matter if you live in Maine, Florida, or California, contact us if you're ready to buy any Newmar, and we will make sure we find the closest dealership to you and get you the absolute best price. And how you do that is by going to mattsrvreviews.com or using our link below and clicking tab number one. That means you're a buyer, that means you're gonna get solicited, and that means people are gonna bug you to buy one of these. If you're not ready to buy, don't click tab one. Click tab two and three. That sends an email to both me and Will, and we're not gonna bug you. We're here to help answer your questions. And Andrea, it doesn't matter if you're in the buying process or ready to buy right now, What's the one thing we'll always get you? The best price in America. Burr, 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 burr. Andrea, let's continue the video. Okay, I have to point out some things that I'm noticing. The Art Deco clock? Uh, no. Oh. But it is a cute clock. Okay. Oh, and real quick, this has blinds right here. Oh, wow. Very so nice. nice. Okay. What else are you noticing? The legs on the sofa. It's really cute, you guys. Oh, I didn't um, even notice it's that. It's different. Yeah. Oh, so you don't normally see that. It's It kind of just sits. It just makes it look more elegant. Yeah, for sure. All right, so here's the kitchen. Yes, ma'am. We've got adjustable shelves. Oh, kidoki. Very nice. Pretty, pretty countertop. Solid surface. Yes. We got a double sink here. Andrea. Yes. That is a nice sink. It, it is. It's a double sink, man. Yes. Got an extension. I like that there's the window. Mm -hmm. Um. We've got a place for sponges, and we have a cabinet here. Oh. Hey! That's a $104 trash can. Uh, I think it's more than that. <laughs> cute handles, look. Very cute. So you can get there from over there. Look at that. This is adorable. Yeah. So you get four drawer, or no, maybe it's just three. Soft oh, clothes. soft clothes. I love that. Yes. And we got a convection microwave. Right there. I love okay, that. Okay, look at this. Yes. All right, so you got a place to it's prep. It's reversible. Right. You can prep food. You move that over, and then you have the two burner induction cooktop. Show the underneath of that. Yeah. Oh, very cute. And you know what's so nice about that induction cooktop now? It comes out. It comes out, and you can bring it outside with you. Cool. Okay, here's the backsplash over here. How do you like it? Um, It's okay. It, it, I, you know, um, it's it, it's cute. I think that it could have been better, but, you know, I'm not going to pick it But back. it could have been worse. Okay, so you got nice. Oh, you get a utensil. Yeah. It's a thirty-seven dollar <laughs> utensil tray. Nice drawers. I really do like these handles. Mm. Here's the other thing for the sink. Very nice. All right, and this must be your pantry. Yes. Look at that. Wow. Amazing. Goes back. Very cute. Um, you know, it's it's awesome they put it there because they might not have had a pantry in here. You're right about that. Okay, so you got a Whirlpool residential refrigerator. Okie dokie. Runs off your inverter. Yes, ma'am. Great. Yeah, this is residential. Yeah, no, that's residential for okay. sure. Okay. And there looks like there is a drawer down here. And real quick, Matt, I wanted to say this, but I forgot. Um, look at the slide. I know people, you know, I just like to show the detail. Mm. Very, very nice. It is nice, Andrea. Yeah. Do you call that crown molding? Um, no, that's just the frame. It just looks good, though. It looks nice that they put this in here. Yeah. It gives it something extra. All right, now time for the bathroom. I do not say quoi. A what? A little something extra. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Andre I hope I said that right. Andrea's a lot fancier than I am, <laughs> folks. All right. Okay, radius shower. We need wah, the lights wah. on in here, Matt. Hold on. There we go. Hate this shower. It is what it is. It's a radius shower. Again, it's one of those things. It's actually not that bad. You know, it does have a little teak seat. But again, we don't like radius showers. We never have liked them. And it just is what it is. Again, talking about the sofa and the dinette situation with the TV placement. There's only so much you can do in a toy hauler motor uh, home. Show that seat real quick. I do like that they gave you a seat in there because a lot of times you don't even get a seat. Yep, yep. And it is a bigger radius shower. We just hate radius showers. Look at the light, the vanity here. Right, That's really nice. cute. Max Air Fan. Nice medicine cabinet. Yeah. Pretty solid surface in here. Nice rectangular sink. Very modern. Yes, ma'am. More. Oh, that's not storage. It's fuses. 
Mm -hmm. And you got a little bit of storage there. Yes. And some cabinets here. Not much. All right. Now that toilet looks interesting. We're okay. going to have to see. I don't know. All right. It's now time for the toilet test. Porcelain. This is kind of in my way, but not really because it's up. Andrea, this is a prime poop position. Bing! But again, I'm gonna make it a little bit of a smaller prime poop position. Not the prime, it's the poop. A pooping. little one, Jen. Just a little one. Just a little, just a little logo, man. Very cute door handles. Mm. I like that they put a mirror there. Yes, ma'am. And then coming into the bedroom. Pocket door. Yes, right here. You push down for it to slide yes. close. Very nice. Oh, cute. Yes. Now yes. this is a queen. Yes, this is a queen size bed, okay? Very, very cute. Look at the slide with the, oh, I guess the lights do come on in the slides out there. Yes. It's adorable. Right here, we do got nice storage above. Okay, very nice. Look at that headboard. Interesting. Do you know Hold what that on. headboard is? Padding? That's the cushion for when the dinette drops down and makes the bed. No, are you sure? I thought I'm I positive. Really? I am positive, freaking positive. That's exactly what, what that is. Or, or i don't think so Matt. okay or it's padding for the bed down out back we'll figure it out the I review's think that's not the over headboard no because look it hooks on the little thing there yeah so maybe. i'm telling you it's supposed to come so out so then that means that this doesn't have a headboard no headboard mm. got the side windows okay and i like these numbers on the pillow they're cute very cute yes ma'am and you got a little nightstand with a usb electrical outlet um you got some space down there for storage and, and that out. is for the dinette right there. Okay, okay. So but that still, is the headboard. The, no, I'm, I'm, I'm telling, telling you, you that's just the look they're going with. We're not done yet, Andrea. <laughs> that, that, there's a garage area, remember. Okay. We'll figure it out. Right here, we nice do got storage. Drawer. Yep. Okay. okay. And then we got some drawers down here. Oh, yes. How many is there down there all? Uh, two down here and then two okay, right so here. Okay, so four. And then right here's a TV, Samsung, and it does not flip. Okay. But it's very got nice. A window. Yes. Little nightstand with electrical outlet. And Matt, oh, that's nice. Art Deco. Mm, no. Oh. But it's cute. Okay. Got a nightstand on that side. Now we're going into the garage. Oh, man. You might be right, Andrea. I know I am right. Well, dang, Nabbit. You're yeah. not supposed Oh, Matt, I'm just telling you that's just the look they're going with. Because you need to have that padding there. This is more luxurious. Okay. And, but you know, it's just that weird way, how it's hanging. It's just the look. Got it. Yeah. So if they don't want it there and they don't like that headboard, they can take it down or they can have the cushion. Andrea, check out what's going on back wow. here. Wow. Very cool. Look, okay, there's a step down, you guys. There's a step. Yep. And when you come on down, um, notice how it has the motorcycle wheel chalks. Oh. So a place for you to put your motorcycle, which is really nice. That's it does have a third great. AC unit for back here. Right over here, you do got storage. Oh, you... it's for the Max Air fan. Okay. One of them. You got oh, oh no! Look behind oh, you. Oh, that is great. Nice, nice little so, screen door. Action. Yeah, because a lot of times it's just you pull it down yourself. Yes, yes, very That's nice. That's nice. I'm like hearing it. I'm like, where the heck is it? Very nice screen door. Power back here. You got your lights back here. To show that TV windows. over there. I did, I did. And the and, cabinets and up I, there. I, I mean, uh, uh huh. Yeah, it's. <laughs> yeah, you have oh, to be I tall to oh. reach it. Oh. But okay. you guys. Cabinetry up here. Yep. Yeah. Very nice. And, and then this. So this is a dinette, and then this is a bunk bed. Right, and, and there is a table that goes here. Yes. Pedestal. So you can use it for like dining. And then I'm going to move over here. And I do see that, yeah, so you see this right here? This comes down and it would be your, your bed. So check this out. Right now they're in the mode where they both come down. What's gonna happen is right about here, Andrea, the top bunk's going to stop. Now there is a way, if you don't want this top bunk to come down at all, you hook it up up there and then it won't even move. And then you're gonna hear it in about five, four, three, oh, two, one. <laughs> so you see this top bunk? 
Yep, and you can see there's the table right there. Yep. That goes down. And I like the, the railings bottom. because it, it's holding the ladder yes. and the tables. Yes. So and it doesn't go flying around. Right. Also, if you have smaller kids, they're not going to be falling out of here because they have the safety rail. And then this is a lower bed. And what's nice about this motorhome as well is that if you do have adult sized children, um, they can sleep on this. Yep, exactly. And it also is really nice to have it as like a patio. Yeah. And then again, as Andre says, the table sets up here and everything. It's just really, really it, nice. It though. is really nice. And Andrea, as nice as it is and as great as it is. Oh, first, look at the individual tie downs as well, what they do there. So smart. Yeah, I well, was Andrea, looking for D rings. No, it's better. These are better these are than better. D rings. As great as it is and as nice as it is, Andrea, it's now time we give everybody three things we love about the Newmark Canyon Star and three things we dislike about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Three things we dislike about it. Okay, I got the first one. Go ahead. I love this garage. I love the ramp door. I kind of wish that ramp door turned into a patio. Then it would be oh, freaking yeah. amazing. Yeah. Again, I but I think I'm saying that talking like an amateur because the way it's angled up, it's better for your toys. It's better for your bikes. It's a better system. But for me, if it turned into a patio on top of that, it would be awesome. That is number one. Andre, number two dislike? Okay, I, I can't really see too much because um, I really do like this. I, I really do. I really like this a lot, and that's not. I mean, trust me. When it's when I can't find a dislike, I can give you number two and number three. I, I will say. Oh, you got one. Uh, I will say, and this is really little. I don't like the carpet. That's the only thing. I mean, there's carpet all through here, and to me, I'd rather just see the tile over it, and maybe have more of a flush look. Okay. But okay. I don't really have. I'm I'm stumped right now. Okay. I'm so that's number two. Yeah. And then number three for me, Andrea, is going to be the exterior doors, how they fling up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I do not like that. We much, much, much prefer the sideways swinging door. Yes? I'm going to combo. You're going to combo your number two? Yes, with the vent. Okay. Okay. I feel like this is a higher end motorhome. Those of us that have pets don't, you know, really want the vents in the floor. Okay. Not a deal breaker, but nope. it is a more luxurious camper. Yep. And at least you know, it's out of the way. It is out of the way, but still I can see my little Yoko, my baby yep. bangle getting her collar stuck. So just to recap, number one was the ramp door. Yes. Number two is a combo Co between the carpet, carpet and, and the, the vents. floor vents. Yep. And then number three was those uh, upward facing outside doors. Yes. We much prefer the sideways swinging. Great. So that's three things we don't like about it. Andrea. Now it's time for three things we love about this motorhome. I don't know where to begin. Well, first, hang on. I see something I forgot. Nice little drawer, and it comes with a sweet tea. First thing you <laughs> like about it. I love the touches in here. I have yes. to say, I yes. love it. It's a breath of fresh air. Yes. I love the slides. I love the sconces. I like the colors. I like this whole distressed Parisian look. Yes. Um, it's, just, it's just nice to see. Here's you know? the thing, folks. You know, I'm gonna go there, and because it's called Match RV Reviews, and some people might get upset, but here's the deal. The only other toy hauler motorhome is the Thor Outlaw. Outlaw. And the interior decor selection, it it's marketed to more men. Right. There's no other way of saying right. it. Oh, man. You it's know, more red and Chill, black chill, interior. yeah. It's more, and, and I love the way that looks over this, but the fact of the matter is, there's always two sides to a purchase. Absolutely. And so this motorhome's going to give you that toy hauler that one person wants and the interior look and decor that the other person wants. Absolutely. And Andre, would you say you love this interior look? I love it. Yep. I, I really do. Yep. Um, so that's number one. Yeah. Andre, number two? This. Oh, yep. I gotta say, I love this dinette. Yep. I'm gonna combo that. The fact that you're getting, okay, so here's the deal, guys from, I'm gonna say the whole floor plane layout, upwards up to this door, you can't tell that this is a toy hauler. No. I mean, it's a little bit of a smaller sofa, it's a smaller dinette, but the fact is you're still getting everything you want in the motorhome, and you have that garage attached to it. So many times in class A toy haulers, 
you're, you'll be missing something. They have to take something away from something just to make it all fit in here. And I think they did a fantastic job with this. Yes. Can I have another like? Sure. I have to say, I really like this pantry because I have seen uh, a lot of times in motorhomes where they don't have any pantry at all. Open it all the way and up. this is, oh, sorry. This is just great that they, they were able to do this right yes. here. Yes, yes. You know? Uh, there's times, like I said, we don't see them. I'm like, yeah. where's the pantry? That's going to be a combo. This is really cute. Yeah, that's going to be a combo with number two with the whole fit and finish and yes. feel of the floor plan. But Andrea, there's no final three. There is only one final three. Yeah, I agree, Matt. And the third thing we absolutely love about this motorhome is this garage area. It's big enough. I love it. You have a third AC unit. You have bunk beds if you need it. You have extra seating area if you need it. You have an extra dinette if you need it. You can safely tour, 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 duh. You can safely travel your toys, and you have a screen door to keep all the bugs out. I absolutely love that feature, and Andrea, I absolutely love this motorhome. I do too. It is fantastic. I think it's beautiful. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. That's the Newmark Canyon Star. Again, if you guys are ready to buy one of these or any Newmark. Go to mattsrvreviews.com and click that first contact tab. It doesn't matter where you guys live, in Maine, Florida, or California, we have somebody close to you and we'll be able to hook you up with a fantastic deal. Click tab number one on mattsrvreviews.com. And if you're not ready to buy it and you just have questions, click tab two and three. That's gonna send emails to us and we monitor that email and we're gonna help you, point you in the right direction and we're gonna help you out throughout your process and your journey into buying an awesome motorhome. Andrea, is there anything you wanna say? Yes, hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Newmar will be reading the comments. You guys, make sure you leave feedback. Yes. Um, I hope you guys are excited that we're starting to do more Newmar products. Yes. Also, I wanna thank RV1 of Tampa. Yes. Let us be here today. 813-659-0008. We really appreciate it. Also, campgroundviews.com. Without them, Andrea. We mm. wouldn't be here. So you guys, make sure that mm, you mm, check mm, out mm. their website and you take advantage of it now. Yes, thank um, you. <laughs> Hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see, see you next time. time.